What's up guys, uh, Tiger Buzz coming at you guys with another video and today I'm going to show you guys how to sex uh, larger sulcuttas. Uh, this goes only for tortoises uh, or sulcuttas that are about this size. If it's anything smaller, I mean it's a little more difficult to tell. Uh, I've huddled them up over here so it makes for easier recording so I don't have to go to each one and show you guys. So. What I'm going to do is uh, flip them over, show you guys the plastron. You know that females have completely flat plastrons and males have a concave in their plastrons, as well as the goulars. The goulars are what you see right over there. Under the necks, it's the upper part of the plastron on males. It comes out, protrudes as they get older and larger, and eventually curves up, as you see on uh, Barney over there. Fred's is a little more. Uh, not as pronounced because he's not as big as Barney, uh, isn't as old as Barney, uh, as you can see. They're just having a good time at grazing, so uh, I'm not gonna be able to flip Barney up over, uh, Barney over. Maybe, I'll try, I'm just gonna have to put the camera down to do it. Uh, I'm gonna flip them over, I mean, a lot of people advise against it, but doing it for a few seconds shouldn't hurt them, just, it happens in the wild, and uh, they can usually flip themselves back over, but I'm only doing this for a few seconds just to show you guys uh, what it looks like. So let's get Wilma and show you guys what it. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring Wilma closer. Fuck, she's heavy. Excuse my language. Sorry. I'm gonna put my camera down for a second, flip them over just to show you guys. I'll flip these two over first. So yeah, give me a sec. All right, so as you can see, with Fred over here, he has this dip in his shell. You can feel it, and then over here with Wilma, it's flat. With uh, Fred over here, you can see. Uh, another thing is the females have much shorter tails. If she'll pull her tail out, you'll be able to see. And as you can see with males, they have a curved tail that it's pretty long in comparison. I'll show you Barney's, his is more pronounced, but yeah. Let me, let me flip them back over. So yeah, um, let's see if uh, I can get a shot of this. But yeah, uh, females have the flat plastrons, males have uh, a concave in theirs. And then, as you can see, the goulars on a female, let's get her to hide a little bit. The goulars on a female are much less pronounced. They don't really come out much. They're hidden. And then here's Barney. Let's show you guys what I'm talking about with goulars. This right here is a, they call it a goulard, and it's usually made for, uh, uh, whatever, what's it called? It's purpose, uh, uh, what, um, I can't even find my words. Uh, so kind of males usually use them to pretty much fight and assert dominance over other males. And as you can see, Barney has really pronounced goulars. Look at that. Uh, I'm not gonna flip him over. He's, uh, yeah, I'll flip him over for a second. He's heavy and he could probably flip himself back over real quick. So let's do this really quick. I'm gonna put the camera down one more time. I apologize, it would have been nice to have somebody to record this. It would have been much better, but you guys know half my videos are just me. So give me a sec. Uh, all right, here we go. <clears throat> As you can see, there's this dip in his shell. Look at how curved his tail is, how big it is. It's it's a really long tail. It comes all the way back down to there, and he he's obviously a male. So yeah, let's flip him back over. Right, guys, I'm um, just gonna finish this video up. Wanted it to be kind of quick, but it's already gone four minutes and a half. Uh, they're back outside. They've been outside for about a week and a half because weather has been great, but. Looks like it's getting cold again next week, so I'm gonna have to put them back in. Um, let me get one of my smaller ones to show you. <clears throat> As you know, this is a, a grow out pen for uh, my smaller sulcutas and my one leopard who is hiding over there. 
But yeah, this is a smaller Solcutta Wilma. As you can tell, she is giving signs that she's a female. Look at how short that tail is in comparison to what I showed you guys with Barney and uh, Fred. Flat plastron. She has a little bit of pyramiding, but hopefully as she grows, it'll go away. Or, you know, she's still small, so yeah. She's, uh, you can see her goulars pretty hidden. Um, I would, I, if I had to say what this one was without probing, I'd say it's a female just because of the short tail, flat plastron. And uh, yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, take your buzz out, rate, comment, subscribe, drop your comments uh, below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Uh, so yeah, take care guys, peace. Hey guys, uh, one last thing, I just wanted to finish this video up by giving a special shout out to Camp Kennan. You guys should check his channel out. It's spelled camp with a K, uh, so yeah. K-A-M-P, Kennan, K-E-N-A-N. -N. He has some really cool videos. Uh, I'm sure you guys will enjoy them. He has a lot of Cyclera videos, a lot of tortoise videos, turtle videos, everything. This guy has so many reptiles that you can't even imagine, and it's all in his house, or on his property. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to finish this up with uh, a shot of my Russian tortoise pen habitat whatever you want to call it uh, and this whole thing is just my Russian tortoises now the box turtles uh, live in my yard and I have no idea where they are and they're a lot of them are just uh, native Texas species uh, some of them are rescues and they're just everywhere a lot of them are hibernating uh, my Russian tortoises a lot of them went down for the count and this is my I think this is one of my males yeah that's a male as you can see his long tail this is one of my males. Uh, my really big female that you guys know of, she's also out. I have about eight Russian tortoises in here, and uh, I can only find two right now. Here's uh, my big female, you guys, you guys know her. She's one of my oldest. She's huge for a Russian, or bigger than, yeah. As you can see, she's a female short tail in comparison but yeah, she's really dirty from all the burrowing she had done but anyways uh yeah so check out camp kennan's channel uh he's a real cool guy with lots of reptiles awesome videos very informative um if you haven't already subscribed to him check him out subscribe leave him a like comment all that good stuff anyways guys take your buzz out hope you guys enjoyed this video Rate, comment subscribe